All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. So the only thing that I want to say when I'm opening my readings is that the messages tend to change. So basically every, every reading so far except for one, the reading has started out looking like a certain type of reading, whether it's love or whatever. And then it completely changed to where you could read it a totally different way. So I don't know if that should just be a thing with me where because these are so general and I don't have a querent asking a question um, that I'm basically giving you two different ways, you know, so that it's for some people this, I don't know. Basically what I'm trying to say is as I'm reading, um, I feel like uh, since you were drawn to this reading that there is a message in here for you. So be patient, bear with me, and I will try to get a clear reading for what is supposed to come out. So if it comes out one way at first and comes out completely changes, then that means it's helping more people. Is how I look at it. I just don't want the people that need to hear whatever end up getting their message towards the end and then somebody leaves before they even hear what they need to hear. So I trust that the spirit guides will help nudge you along the way so you know that if this is meant for you or not. All right, this is for Capricorn. Protection, beautiful. Beautiful card. Wow, she reminds me of the Empress. She's got the world, but she's holding it almost like a pregnant belly. Um, wow, that's beautiful. All right, so that's our overall energy for the reading. Let's get to your cards. Split the deck at the Empress. All right, these were pre shuffled, so I'm going to go ahead and get your cards out. Go for the heart of the reading. Two of Cups. Wow, what a great way to start. Let's go ahead and get the current energies. Three of Pentacles. Let's get the past. And current situation. Great. Two of wands under the deck there. So you might be at a crossroads because of a conflict. Let's go ahead and get the future card. Once I get all the cards out, then we'll try to interpret this reading. King of Swords, Knight of Wands under the deck. Let's get the advice. Interesting. Emperor. Under that is the Nine of Cups. It's interesting that this says protection. That's our card. It's our overall energy. This is the wounded warrior. He's the one who's going to... Um, kind of put walls up to protect himself, kind of have those barriers, be on guard. We have the emperor under the deck. Um, 
currently there is some imbalance going on, some chaos, conflict. We're needing to be logical, or the future we're going to be on our throne being logical. Um, we're going to see things clearly and kind of be precise. Hmm. All right. There's the Empress right here. Wow. Three times now we've come up with the Empress by splitting the deck, or well, pulling it in that one. Not necessarily that doesn't say Empress, but definitely giving an Empress vibe. You know, definitely getting um, some of you have been manifesting this, so this could be if it is the Empress vibe of fertility. Some of you could be not only manifesting but trying to get pregnant with your partner. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, meaning that it's working, but. not exactly sure what's going on here so let's go ahead and clarify because that's not going to be for all of you where there's a pregnancy involved Clarify the first column here. The fool taking a leap of faith. under that. Queen of Cups. So there's a partnership. You know, there's two of cups here and then we have a King of Swords and a Queen of Cups. So this could be a partnership between um, an intellectual masculine and a intuitive feminine the yin and the yang a duality but it works it she doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign and you're or vice versa you um, you know this is water sign and air sign. However, we're reading for an earth sign. This is Capricorn's reading. So it can just be taking on those, you know, this can be about a partnership. And let's go ahead and clarify the third column. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's pregnant in this too. The Queen of Cups. I mean, that's not... In, in any of the other decks that I know of. The queens are usually sitting down in the throne just like the king, you know. But in this, she is pregnant. Wow.
maybe there was a bit of conflict because you know the feminine is ready and she's manifesting it and making it happen and stopping birth control and she's ready to go and leap of faith and wanting to do it and there's a bit of a conflict there or you know are we ready type of thing let me clarify the third column <laughs> for some of you that aren't wanting to get pregnant maybe it's telling you to use protection um Wow, three of pentacles again, three of pentacles. So I feel like it's going to, there is going to be a creation. This is, this is three people, three things creating, you know, so the two of you created another lot, you know, this, I'll have to see how I can read this for a different situation, but how I'm in it right now is, oh, and there's the queen of swords. Ooh. Okay, so this is where it can be a totally different situation. So for some of you, this is you're going to get pregnant. And for others of you, there is, could be a third party situation. Because um, we have, you know, the three people. Um, we have a queen of swords, a king of swords, and a queen of cups. Um, this is the wounded warrior. And, you know, the, the word saying protection, you know, protect yourself, t so to speak. Um, and then with this conflict is the only reason I would read it that way is that we're having an instability, something that's not balanced. There's a conflict. And then the wounded warrior and protection is what would make me pick up on and then I obviously you know the three different suits so like a, a love triangle or a third party situation interesting um But I don't know how somebody would manifest a third party situation. You know, like this is basically the manifesting is what made me feel like somebody was trying to get pregnant. Um, I want to clarify this column again. Let me get another card over here for this column. Sorry about the dog, if you can hear them. Justice and Two of Swords. Justice, like two of swords. This is not wanting to see or uh, like a, not wanting to see a problem, not wanting to make a, a decision about something. These are both blindfolded. The justice card is, you know, the scales being tipped fairly or unfairly, not wanting to see something, and then the conflict is also making me feel like, like not wanting to make the decision for a legality, like a divorce, and needing to take that leap of faith. 
Hmm. For some of you, there could definitely be, you know, you're leaving a, a relationship or a marriage because of a third party situation. Maybe they even got the third person pregnant. Or maybe you're the, the mistress type of thing. Let me clarify the Two of Cups row. priestess all right sorry about that my memory card got full so I had to adjust so yes we have strength and the high priestess under the deck for that um, this entire column is very beautiful. So if we're looking at the strength card is, as you can see, she's taming the storm and she's tamed the beast. Instead of coming from our animalistic side, um, from our ego, we are coming from our higher self. So that means we are more healed and evolved and healthy. When we are like that, that's when we can attract in this mutual partnership. Um, so this entire row seems very healthy. Um, if that is the case, that we, you know, are entering into a healthy relationship, because this is our future column here, um, then we are maybe entering into a contract, of, so to speak, maybe a marriage. Um, we're creating a life. Um, Maybe we are going to start a business together because this is creating something. So whether it's, um, you know, like a pregnancy or if we're starting a business, um, whatever we are doing, it does show that it will work. So um, the Two of Cups does not have to be romantic. So this can be a true, beautiful partnership that is mutual, an excellent partnership that works and is healthy in the um, business world, so to speak. So coming from the emperor, which we had under the deck, if we are going to be a leader and we're going to start a business, um, we are manifesting this, we are creating this beautiful, beautiful partnership, and we're going to create a business and what we're creating is going to be successful. Um, so however, the only thing that spirit is telling us to be mindful of is to protect ourselves, to keep our boundaries, and maybe have some legalities. You know, if we need, if we're, if we're investing more than um, the other person, we want to make sure things are fair, the scales are balanced, or maybe we need to write up some legal papers. Um, and of course, with the two of swords, that can be you could feel like, oh, I don't want to offend the person, so I don't want to do that. You definitely need to do what you need to do to protect yourself, even though it is a beautiful partnership and everything seems like it will work out. Because um, you don't want to have conflict um, or regrets as far as that goes. Um, with this being more in the current position here, the these are youth. They are kind of, it, it represents immaturity, um, chaos, conflict, confusion, competition. So if this was mature and coming from a healthy standpoint, these five wands would create a pinnacle. 
um, and then we can get somewhere and have more balance and stability and grounding and you know having this pinnacle here um, so it does seem that things aren't all together that it is maybe you're having conflicting opinions on how this is going to happen um, but it does seem like something that's being manifesting and that there is a leap of faith being taken but if you are going to take the leap of faith make sure that you make the hard decisions if you need to draw up papers or protect yourself so however this resonates for you congratulations if you are having a baby congratulations if you are creating a business um, we did have you know the high priestess under the deck here so trust your intuition um, but it seems like you know the the high priest or the um, empress was a big um, card in this so that does bring abundance the empress is birthing something new so you know if you are starting a business it doesn't necessarily have to be a birth of a baby um, there is abundance and creation happening here in this reading um, and it definitely looks like it's going to happen uh, it just seems like there needs to be a little bit of protection to um, keep some boundaries in place you know don't just go all in and put your eggs in one basket and go fully um, you know you always want to keep keep things just I guess you would say you know so that things stay that way um, all right I think I'm going to leave it at that I will um, catch you in my next one. Thank you.